Okay, so in this lecture, we are going to learn methods of proofs and we are going to specifically look into the first type, which is called as direct proofs. So we will start with the first type now. The first is direct proofs. So here, these proofs are of the type P implies Q. So we will assume P and we will prove Q. So this is the method for direct proof. Let us now look some examples. So let me take the first exercise. Prove that if N is odd integer then n square is odd so this type of uh, problem we will now prove by using the direct method so let us see how to do that So here solution, if n is odd integer, so this is if, so if p then q type of problem. What is p here? p is n is odd integer. Q is n square is odd. So we will assume P. So assume P means assume N is odd. And we will prove Q. So we prove Q that is we will prove n square is odd so this is very simple so if n is odd so I'm starting with the assumption okay if n is odd then we know that any odd number can be written in the form of what any number n can be written is either even or it is either odd. If we, if the number is of even, if the number is even, then you can write it as 2 into k. If it is odd, then you can write it in the form of what? 2 into k plus 1, where k, k is some integer. Okay, so I'm using this fact. So when now I know that n is odd, therefore n can be written in the format of what? n can be written in the form of 2k plus 1 where k is some integer therefore I will square this n because we want to talk something about n square so if I square what will happen if I do the squaring I will get n square is equal to 2k plus 1 square therefore n square is equal to 4k square plus 4k plus 1. Now n square can be written as 2 into 2k square plus 2k plus 1. This is some integer. This is 2, 2 into k square plus 2k is also some integer. That integer I will call k dash. So 2 into k dash plus 1. This is n square. What is k dash? Where k dash is equal to 2k square 
plus 2k which is also an integer and therefore n square is also in the fashion of what n square is also in the fashion of 2k plus 1 which is 2k dash plus 1 and this means that n square is an odd integer so this is what we wanted to prove we had started from n is odd here we started with n is odd and now we have proved that n square is odd so this means this is hence proved we have completed the proof so this is the way direct proofs are to be done so you assume the p part and you prove the q part let us see one more example second question prove that if m and n are perfect squares m and n are perfect squares you know what is the meaning of perfect squares means a number can, that number is square of some number okay then show that And show that mn is also perfect square so solution m is perfect what is meaning of m is perfect m is a perfect square means what m is perfect means m is actually some k square means m is some square of some integer okay n is perfect what is meant by n m is perfect square mean n is also square of some integer now what is p here the if part if m and n are perfect square so p is what m and n are perfect squares what is q part here what we want to prove show that m n is also a perfect square so what is q part m n is also perfect square so assume p direct proof means what assume p means assume m and n are perfect squares to prove q to prove q means what what is q mn is perfect square so i will start with the proof now now we know that mn and n are perfect square so since mn are perfect squares by assumption because we have assumed it this means m is equal to k square and n is equal to l square for product of m n is m n equal to k square l square so i can write m n is equal to what i can write m n is equal to k l whole square and this is some r square what is r now r is k l is r integer yes k is integer l is also integer so r is also for multiplication of integer is also integer so this means mn is also square of some integer which is that integer that integer is r where what is r r is nothing but k into l and what does this mean this mean that mn can also be expressed as a square of some integer therefore mn is also m into n is also a perfect 
square. This is what we wanted to prove, right? We have assumed that M and N are perfect squares. And now we have proved that M into N is also what is also a perfect square. So this is the way the problems of proving some implications using direct methods are solved. 